hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today um obviously it's my premier league and uh, not my premier league my fa cup fourth round predictions um but obviously we've got to start with the tragic news that happened today um cardiff's new signing seller um his plane crashed um obviously i don't know um you know, I know bits and pieces, but I'm not going to get into it. All I'm going to say is, I know you Cardiff fans watch my videos, which I'm honoured. Um, you know, especially when you comment your predictions and stuff like that. My prayers and thoughts are with Cardiff City, are with the players, friends and family, are with the pilots, friend and family as well. Um, you know, it's not a nice thing to happen in the football world, um, but hopefully there will be some good news soon. Um, anyway, as I've said, my FA Cup predictions for round four every game. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game I'm going to try and predict is Bristol City versus Bolton. Uh, low flying Bolton, in depth Bolton. Um, you know, I, I'm going to go with a Bristol City win. Um, and I'm going to go with a 3-0 Bristol City win for that one. Uh, the next one is Arsenal versus Manchester United. Possibly a game of the cup ties. Um, so, um, with that one, um, Solskjaer's looking for his 8th win on the bounce. And not Emery ain't doing that bad either as Arsenal manager. Um, I'm going to predict this as a replay, I'm going to predict it's going to a replay and I'm going to go with a 2-0 scoreline for that one. The next one is Akrican Stanley versus Dar <coughs> Excuse me, Derby. Um, you know, I don't know that much about Akrican Stanley, perhaps I should. Um, you know, um, Derby on the other hand are doing okay in the championship um, so I'm going to predict Derby to win this one and I'm going to go with a 2-1 Derby scoreline the next one is Brighton versus West Brom um, you know Brighton uh, okay in the league my local team um, going up against West Brom um, you know who are doing okay in the championship you know looking promising to come back up uh fired by the playoffs if anything I could, that's the only way i could think they could come up um you know it is a tough division to be in i'm going to predict brighton to win this game and i'm going to predict him to win it 2-1 the next one is doncaster versus oldham um, I'm going to predict a 2 0 Doncaster win. Sorry, I don't know nothing about the two clubs. I am trying to get better at my lower leagues. The next one is Manchester City versus Burnley. Man City, um, you know, doing okay in the Premier League, trying to trace Liverpool down Burnley on the opposite end of the table. Um, I'm going to predict Man City to win this game, and I'm going to predict him to win it 4 0. The next game is Middlesbrough versus Newport. Newport doing okay again. Um, you know, all things considered how low they are. Um, so, with that one, I'm going to still predict to Middlesbrough win, but I'm only going to predict it a 1 0 Middlesbrough win. The next one is Newcastle versus Watford. Um, low flying Newcastle gets my dark horses, as I'm calling them this season. Watford, um, I'm going to predict, you know, because what, cause what the table does and what it's saying basically, um, I'm going to predict to Watford win and I'm going to predict a 2-0 Watford win. The next one is Portsmouth versus QPR. 
Paul Swift doing like okay in League One, look uh, possibly to get back to promoted to the Prem, uh, not to the Prem, one one division too high. Um, back to the Championship by automatic promotion. QPR doing 50-50 in the Championship. I don't think they go down though. I think they're too high for that. Um, but I'm going to predict to shot gear. I'm going to predict to Portsmouth win. And I'm going to predict to 2-1 scoreline. The next one is Shrewsbury versus Wolves. <coughs> now, as it goes with like Doncaster, I don't know really nothing about Shrewsbury. Um, Wolves, on the other hand, obviously I do know a bit about um, being in the Prem. Um, I'm going to predict to Wolves win, and I'm going to predict to 3 0 Wolves win for that one. The next one is Swansea versus Gillingham. Now, Swansea, okay in the championship. Um, you know, uh, fair enough for, you know, going down, you know, not going through the drop like Sunderland did a couple of years uh, last season, where we've got two relegations back to back. Um, I'm going to predict to Swansea win for this one, and I'm going to predict to 1 0 win for that one. The next one is Millwall versus Everton. Um, you know, Everton doing okay. Um, Millwall doing okay in the championship as well. But I'm going to predict this is a replay, and I'm going to predict a 0 0 scoreline for the game, and I'm expecting. Everton to take it back to Goodison Park. Uh, the next one is a bit of a London derby. It's Wimbledon versus West Ham. I'm going to predict West Ham to win this one. And I'm going to predict a 2-1 scoreline. The next one, and it's a Premier League game, is Crystal Palace versus Tottenham. Now Tottenham ain't got no... Um, no Deli Alley, no Harry Kane. Uh, obviously, a lot of you probably know about Harry Kane's injury. If you uh, don't know, De uh, Deli Alley's been ruled out to, uh, till March. So, a big blow there for Tottenham. Two key players missing. But I've still got to predict Tottenham to win this game. And I'm going to predict a 2 0 scoreline. The next one is Chelsea versus Sheffield Wednesday. Um. 2-0 Chelsea win. I ain't going to even try and beat round the bush with that one. The last one that I'm going to try and predict is uh, Barnet versus Brentford. Um, you know, Brentford ain't doing too bad, um, all things considered. Barnet ain't got a Scooby-Doo. So I'm going to predict this as a replay. I'm going to predict a one-all scoreline for that one. And I'm expecting a replay, as I've just said. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.